My name is in fact Jane. I've had this channel for a while now and going into the new years I wanted to share some stuff about myself with you guys and also share my new year's resolutions. So here we go. I'm 19 years old. I get a lot of questions about where I'm from and the answer to that is I am Australian but I am half British, half Indian. That's some um, quality heritage right there. That was hot. Despite that, I don't have either citizenship. So I am 100% authentic Australian beef. Here's another interesting fact about my family. They are so against institutions that they even avoid hospitals unless it's absolutely necessary. I'm not kidding. I hadn't been to a hospital in a decade until I was in a car crash a few months back and then it was because the paramedics dragged me away in an ambulance. It was fine, it was just a bit of whiplash, but it was an odd adventure for me. I am now at university, actually one of the top 50 in the world, just because I know that it pisses off my friends when I say that, despite the fact they're at the same university as me. I'm actually a high school dropout. Just goes to show how pointless high school really is. Although you couldn't pay me anything in the world to go... <laughs> Although you couldn't pay me anything in the world to go back to high school, I did actually enjoy it. My high school's unofficial motto was not just high because we're on a hill. Although the highest I've ever been was when I was 17 at the top of Mount Fuji. No, don't do drugs kids. Stay in school, but high school doesn't matter, and don't do drugs. I suppose in comparison, the lowest I've ever been would have to be our basement. It's not very <laughs> low at all. Am I a dog or a cat person? I'm neither. I'm a lizard person. As any Australian girl does, I've got my nightly visitors. I grew up in rural Australia. And I know that because mum spent most of her time chasing snakes off my pets. She only ever managed to save one. My little brother's guinea pig, so at least he doesn't have a traumatised childhood. I've never had much luck with pets. Even when I was a kid, I managed to kill all my Tamagotchos. That's why I only keep plants now. These are my study buddies. Talking about study though, I love stationery. It hates moving as much as I do. Although, contradictorily, I do like team sports, but I hate anything where someone is standing out in the outfield or doing nothing. It's like, do or do not exercise, don't just stand around. My favourite quote. <laughs> nah, my favourite quote would have to be, in all honesty, aim for the moon, because even if you miss, you'll land amongst the stars. I think that's beautiful, just like you guys are. <laughs> I turned to languages, because it's the one thing that my mum, who's a teacher, couldn't help me with. I am vaguely masochistic when it comes to study. I'm actually a really epic reader. I also do quite a bit of writing. I've published a couple of fan fiction, which hopefully no one who knows me in real life will ever discover, because that would lead to some really awkward questions. I figured if I shared my New Year's resolutions with you guys, I would feel guiltier when I didn't complete them. So, here they are. I'm going to finish my novel, go to Europe, be happy, live freely, destroy capitalism, solve global warming, post a video on this channel weekly, reach a thousand subscribers. You guys can help me out with that one. Hit the subscribe and the notification bell and perhaps share what you want to achieve next year. I find speaking things out loud actually helps me commit to things. So why don't you let me know what you want to do, what you want to achieve next year. See you guys throughout 2019. Lots of love, Jane out.